lose tapes. It's just dumb. I had this uh, thing planned where I was going to talk about this expressing a sin. It's talking about how you're going to sin, the same thing as sinning, but I didn't even get that far. Ah, oh, so disappointed. And uh, have a great day. I'm going to stop recording this just after this. Moment, But first, uh, Jim, hello. Hey, how are hey. you doing, man, Kyle? Doing good, man. Salute to uh, keep people from leaving Illinois. Yeah. Twitter. George, hello. I was hey, man. your stories a few minutes ago. Uh, I, I didn't catch all of it, but you were discussing uh, class action law. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're going to do it by next Tuesday if McDonald doesn't uh, resign. We are going to file a class action lawsuit next Tuesday. Get George's name and info. Oh, they really hate this guy. We've already got... Uh, the uh, late 90s. Thank Here's you, brother. The Here's the problem with these churches. Not all of them. But if your pastor is making money, if he's getting paid... it's a Seven figures. That's his salary. Plus $600,000 a year just for his, compens his, his pension for the last 15 or 16 years. And that's just the beginning. And his kids and their wives and, and, and... Pretty jank, if that's true. Um, meanwhile, the church is forty-two million dollars in debt. Go to a church that the pastor does not get paid. They have churches out there. Well, I don't have—I don't have a problem with a guy getting paid. I have a problem with him gouging the flock. And I'll never go to another church that doesn't open their books. That's all. The we'll be right back. Wow, the stuff I'm getting, man. Uh, I just had a uh, over a mega church in Chicago abusing people. I mean, I bet Mark Golly, the, the head guy there of Christianity Today, would want to report all about James McDonald. Mark Golly is huge matter. Mm. Would Jesus, Je Jeffrey, would Jesus joke about putting child porn, or would he be serious about putting child porn on someone's computer to destroy him? How serious is that, putting child porn on someone's computer? It's extremely serious. If somebody puts child pornography in somebody's somebody's computer, really, that person needs to go to jail. Computer, the plan to uh, put child porn on Harold's. Uh Let's go to. I think it's somebody just probably acting like him. Candace, hello. Hi. Over over ninety nine hours to go. Oh wow. <laughs> Uh, hi, Candace. How are you? I want to donate. I want to. I want to be part of this. Um, and, and, well, you don't need me, I guess. Ellen DeGeneres gave fifty thousand dollars. You're a beautiful human being. Tell everybody what you're doing for the homeless. About is it today? Yeah. Is it the weather today? Maybe. Next, Ellen Chin, and I think that's. I mean, that's that. To uh, put child porn on Harold's uh, computer. <laughs> the other cheeks and get into their pocket. Steal more money. You know it's not going to cost you a lot of money. Nineteen dollars, nineteen ninety nine to send a beautiful box of Sherry's berries to someone you. I guess this is what they call talk radio now. Um, I really hope this uh, James McDonald's is a bad guy because otherwise they're just trying to hit him with nothing. Love, can you imagine a section lawsuit against the James McDonald cult? Now listen, Jeffrey, do you want milk chocolate, dark chocolate, or white chocolate? Okay, and you can have different spray spenders. Big spender! I'm a big spender, bro. Go to berries.com, you can do both. Maybe I should say, no, he's, he's uh, just a good guy. Okay, all right, you can do that too. That's what about Mark Golly from Christianity Today? Mark Golly is a certifiable. Player. This train keeps rolling. On One of my favorite bands live. Hubby, this game of the band. How are you? I'm great. How are you doing, man? Blessed by the best, my friend, and uh, I've seen you in New Orleans. I've seen you all over the world. This is a live show you will never forget. In New Orleans, they have like a year in advance. 30. I will be there, Freddie. It's going to be a lot of fun, man. I think everybody needs to come out and kind of screen out your troubles and worries and have one of the best nights of your life. You're eight. A plus. You're Brian McLaren and Neil Hartsfield. A plus. Yes! Nice. Yes. Got no reason for the things I fear, the things that plague me when it's... My gosh, 30 years of faithful Bible ministry, not once does CT say anything positive about Neil Harvest while they celebrate Rod Bell, cheer Brian McLaren, and hero worship Bill Hybels. Only time they have ever mentioned us in a negative light two to three times. Fact, CT is Anglican, C.
pseudo dignity, high church, symphony adoring, pipe organ protecting, <laughs> musty, mild smell of urine, blue hair, Methodist loving, mainline dying, women preacher championing, emerging church adoring, almost good with all gays and closet Palestine promoting Christianity. So of course they attacked me. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that little bit was on the website right up to, um, yeah, I have no idea. Hey, look, it's Mark Galley from Christianity Today, Pastor James McDonald. Mark Galley is a certified prick. What about Harold from Christianity Today? You like him, don't you? The plan to uh, put child porn on Harold's uh, computer. Wow. What about Julie Roy, who's writing an article about you and your misdeeds? This freaking Julie Roy is going to be riding around on a place with a midget on her shoulders. What about Bill? Okay. This whole segment should be making the people who listen to it more and more angry. I'm not gonna. Well, Heibel's one of the most respected Christians on earth. My gosh, 30 years of faithful Bible ministry, not once does CT say anything positive about me or Harvest while they celebrate Rob Bell, cheer Brian McLaren, and hero worship Bill Heibel. Only time they have ever mentioned us in a negative light two or three times. Fact, CT is Anglican, pseudo dignity, high church. Symphony adoring, pipe organ protecting, <laughs> musty, mild smell of urine, blue hair, Methodist loving, mainline dying, women preacher championing, emerging church adoring, almost good with all gays and closet Palestine promoting Christianity. So of course they attacked me. The plan to uh, put child porn on Harold's uh, computer. I told you that this guy was trying to get child porn on my computer, Jeffrey Leving. That's why I was worried. Uh, you know, and and just just if just the statement, you never recover from that. Somebody found with child porn on their computer, even if it's proven that this guy tried to plan it, which is what some of his uh, some of my snitch friends there were telling me. I mean, this is de that can be de that could destroy my life. I wouldn't be able to see my kids, and that's what James McDonald had planned for me. And I wouldn't be able to see my effing kids. This is, uh, I that's a preacher. You. That's not a preacher. Yep. Um, yeah, I'm glad he's getting worked up. In my book, what would, it, what would it do? What would it do if, if there was kitty porn found on my phone? What would it do to me? Would I be able to see my kids? You could end up losing your children. You could end up in a criminal case. I had people you call me careful. Of I mean, Sam is McDonald. The plan to up from here. Hey, uh, hey, Doug? Yes, sir. He's a good Bible. actor. I'm not sure this guy believes the Bible at all. He, uh, I, he, I don't think he's a believer. It's a, he's an actor. <laughs> he's definitely an actor. You, uh, you, did you go to Scotland with him? I did not go to Scotland. Okay, but you heard he stole a bunch of stuff in Scotland, or what's the story? Yeah, so the story is with Scotland is he sent some elders and himself and some other friends. They go to Scotland. They're playing golf there, and him and Luke ended up stealing something from the pro shop as a joke. Yeah. They walked out with it. Um, well, they were everybody kidding. thought it was a big joke. They were kidding. Back to Chicago, and it was a big joke in the office. In the in the, the oh, they, they, but they, I'm sure they paid for it. No, they didn't. Pay and for it. and I know he spends a lot of money at the Elgin Country Club. Is he a good guy out there? <laughs> so my son works out there, and he says to him, uh, James comes down to get a, get his golf bag, and uh, my son says, Hey, I can't find it. Someone must have put it in a different spot. I can't find it. James goes nuts on him. He starts swearing at him, yelling it. at him. I've seen it. And he goes, well, let me go back and see if I can find it. He finds it, brings it back. He goes, oh, okay, thanks. And then that was it. So my son yeah. has to report it inside that a member was upset. Yeah. He goes back inside, tells tells the staff, and they said, oh, don't worry about him. He's always in a bad mood. He, he, he is. He is. Him. Well, except when he's putting on his uh, mask to get that tax-free money. Hang on, Doug. I, maybe you want to join this class action lawsuit that will be filed next Tuesday if James McDonald doesn't step down. Hey, is this Jesse Smollett telling the truth? We're going to talk about that. Uh, first, I want to tell you, uh, Jeffrey, proflowers.com, brother, proflowers.com for, for Val. You know, um, I got this this clip for an hour and a half of uh, the Man Cow show. Um, I don't know if it's... I don't know how long his show was or how long it actually went on for that day. I did hear it was four days ago, though.
Valentine's Day. I'm afraid to identify her. Okay, I may okay. Pronounce her name. Is there, any, is, there any, is there any chance you want to send her a dozen flowers? You go eat. Uh, you just have the mic. You can't talk to her. Okay. okay, and you can write a nice note. You can have it sent to her. You can have it for you. Oh, Man count. Or off. Amazon Reason, 1999. Jam. Good morning. Where can we find your article? Well, we can find it at uh, Good Morning. Where? John, welcome to the program. Good morning. This might be the, the magazine editor they were talking about. Where can we find your article? Well, you can find it at uh, Mediaite, where I'm a senior columnist. Uh, it's also at Free Speech Broadcasting, and my Twitter feed is uh, Zygmunt Freud. It's all over. <laughs> it's gone viral. And uh, is the guy a liar? Is he lying about his attack, this African-American homosexual act? No, that's uh, Jesse Smollett. My bad. Um, okay, I think this video is over. Uh, thanks for listening.